gentlemen, I'm very pleased to introduce to you uh, the mayor of uh, Tallahassee, uh, All right, everybody. Are we going to flip on the blue this year? I can't hear you. Are we going to flip on the blue this year? I believe we are. I want to begin by telling you, I'm so sorry that I'm so casually dressed, but we just finished rallying outside just a, a few miles away from here, standing in the gap of public education. I am a child of the public education system in this state. Uh, some of you all know I'm the mayor of Tallahassee, Florida, but I grew up uh, south of here in an area called Richmond Heights and Miami Dade. Uh, my mother down there was a school bus driver and my daddy was a construction worker. I'm the fifth of seven children, all boys and one girl. God bless them and us. Uh, she's a tough young lady, uh, but I'll tell you I'm the first of my siblings to graduate from high school and the first of my siblings to graduate from college. You can't tell anybody in our household, we don't know what it means to see intergenerational poverty interrupted at the hands of a good public education. And that's why we rallied for public education. That's why we rallied for that opportunity. Because every single child, regardless of where they come from, without regard to what their mother or their fathers do for a profession, regardless of whatever side of track they live or grew up on, every one of our kids deserves an equal opportunity to learn. And we ought to begin. We ought to begin by making good on that opportunity by paying teachers what they are worth for doing the most difficult job that exists on earth. They're responsible for the shaping, the molding, the cultivating, the inspiring of the minds of our most precious gifts, our children. And as a father to three kids, I'm not only concerned about my children, but when they enter the public education system, I want to make sure that they're sitting next to and behind and in front of kids who are there and ready to learn. And right now in this state, 40% of our kids are showing up in kindergarten not ready to learn. Our teachers, average salary, they're being paid 45th lowest out of all 50 states. We're the third largest state in America. And we're paying our teachers at dirt bottom. Now, I know that you all have heard this phrase, that you can measure a society by where they spend their money. Well, we're spending about $7,500 a year to educate a kid, and nearly $50,000 a year to incarcerate a kid. Something's wrong with that picture. Something is wrong with that picture. And so we need a governor who's committed to standing in the gap on behalf of those children, making sure that our kids do start ready to learn, ensuring that they are at grade level reading, Get rid of these high stakes tests which aren't telling us what our kids know, but how well they took the test. And making sure that for our kids, once they enter the high school system, if you're not on a pathway to college, because everybody doesn't want to go to college and everybody may not be cut out for it, that we ensure that we reinfuse back into the public education system the kind of skills training that used to exist. I have to tell you, I also got a value statement here around wages. Right now in the state of Florida, 44% of people say that they cannot make ends meet at the end of the month. They're working, many of them harder than ever, and still can't pull down a wage to take care of themselves and their families. That's a shame. It's a shame in the third largest state in America, and I believe we can do better beginning by ensuring that everybody who works a full-time job, if you get up, and you suit yourself up to go and work on somebody else's job 40 hours a week. You should not be paid a poverty wage. You ought to pay a little wage. You need to take care of yourself and take care of your family. I don't want you to know, but I don't want you to just trust my words today. I want you to measure me by my actions. As mayor of the city of Tallahassee, I am proud to have stood up to Donald Trump, the Republicans, and everybody else who wishes to divide us by what we look like. Instead, we want them to measure us by the content of our character and who we are. I'm proud to have stood up to the NRA who sued me. Welcome to the court. For two years. All because we failed to repeal a city ordinance which simply said you cannot shoot guns in city parks. Radical. Right? Mind blown. 
You can't shoot guns in parks where our kids play and our families picnic. And that's so radical a notion that we were allowed to be sued. Well, the good news is, we beat them at the circuit court, we beat them at the appellate court, and we said, we'll see you at the Supreme Court if you want to take the We can't win if we don't fight. We cannot win if we don't fight. Finally, 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 because we all have a theory of change around how we win this race. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me end by saying this. If you give me the opportunity to do the one thing in my life my mother ever told me to ask for, which is to ask for a chance. I want a chance to go to Tallahassee and be your best advocate, to stand up for regular working people. My name is Andrew Gillum. I'm the mayor of the city of Tallahassee. Give me a vote. I'm the next governor of the great state of Florida. Thank you for coming.